What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. Today we are checking out another affordable phone from Xiaomi called the Xiaomi Mi Play. So this phone was released about 4 months ago, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because the prices have dropped and these days you can buy this phone for around $130 and for the price it does offer quite a lot of value. We get a 3.5mm audio jack, something that we don't usually see, and the sound quality from that audio jack is also pretty good. We have a fingerprint scanner on the back, and the fingerprint scanner works good every single time, but it's not the fastest that I've ever seen on a Xiaomi device, but I think it works good enough for the price of the device. And we get a 5.84 inches screen, this is an IPS screen that has a 1080p resolution. Not to mention the colors look great and the viewing angles are also great. So yeah, for $130 you cannot go wrong with this phone. Even though this phone is called the Mi Play, this isn't exactly a gaming phone because um, this doesn't have the most powerful CPU out there. So this phone is powered by the MediaTek Helio P35 that's paired with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. If you check the scores on the Antutu benchmark, the scores um, that you'd get are very similar to the scores that you'd get from the Snapdragon 625. And that means that you're going to be able to use most applications available in the Google Play Store. So you can use Facebook, you can scroll up and down without too much lag. I mean, there is a bit of lag, but not bad for um, the price of the device. You can use Chrome without any lag. You can use the YouTube app without um, any issues. And you can even play games, but it depends what games you're playing because you may have to lower the graphics settings on certain games. So for example, PUBG works great if you lower the graphics settings to minimum. So very few skipped frames for that game. So yes, this is called the Mi Play, but this is not a gaming device, but you should be able to play most games available in the Google Play Store and use most applications available in the Google Play Store. The phone itself doesn't look or feel bad either. Well, aside from that micro USB charging port at the bottom, and I'm not sure why they actually chose um, to use a micro USB charging port over a USB-C port because I can't imagine that they saved that much um, money. The frame is made out of plastic, but that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, it's a bad look. It actually looks um, classy. On the left hand side, we have the slot for um, the SIM card. And this device can take two SIM cards and an SD card at the same time. Something a bit unusual because most phones can only take a SIM card and an SD card um, at the same time. The speaker, the one speaker that um, the phone has, um, it's sitting at the bottom of the device. And the speaker does sound quite, um, quite good for $130. And this is a quick example so you can hear um, how the speaker sounds. Moving on to the 3000 mAh battery inside this device, well the battery life is not bad, you're gonna be able to make it through an entire day and get between 6 to 8 hours of screen time, but this is definitely not as good as other Xiaomi devices that I've seen in the past, because um, with a lot of Redmi devices you can get um, up to 12 hours of screen time. Not to this one, but you should still be able to make it through an entire day. As for charging this device, well it takes a couple of hours to charge it from 0 to 100, so not bad um, for the price of the device once again. The front and rear cameras aren't bad, but they are far from exceptional. So if you have plenty of light, yes, the pictures will turn out decent enough, but as soon as you don't have enough light, you're probably better off not to take any pictures. Since we have two cameras on the back of this device, you can also take um, some portrait mode pictures and the edge detection is much better than I was expecting. So yes, the cameras will do okay for daylight, not that good for um, nighttime, but for the price of the phone, I think they do more than okay. Moving on to the GPS unit inside it, well like most Xiaomi devices it only takes a second to find your location and using Google Maps or any other navigation app works great as well. For sensors we have all the sensors that you'd expect from a Xiaomi device, as for connectivity here in Canada the phone can be used on 2G, 3G and on 4G. And these are the bands that are available, so this phone may not work that well in the US, so keep that, um, that in mind. For um, Wi-Fi we have dual band Wi-Fi of course and uh, as I said earlier 4G connectivity and uh, the speeds over the dual band Wi-Fi and the 4G connectivity were decent but definitely not the best that I've ever seen. So to quickly conclude this video, if you're looking for an affordable device that works well, the Mi Play could be a good phone for you, but if you have crazy expectations, well this is not gonna do that amazing, it doesn't get the best battery life, it doesn't get the best performance or uh, the best cameras out there. And if you need something better, you should definitely spend a bit more money and try to get um, something better. But for the price, this is definitely worth it. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.